feels like cheating. Yeah. I'm a mess. Did I feel this entire experiment? Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be trying to write like four of my writing friends. The fun part about all of these videos where I basically mess with my own routine in favor of trying out someone else's routine is that I discover just how differently we all do something in order to like kind of get the same thing. Words on the page or like less words on the page, I guess, if you're editing, but you get my point. So the friends that I've chosen have very distinct writing routines and they're so far different from my own. <laughs> A little bit scared. I think I've put them in order of the hardest to the least hard, at least for how much I'm going to have to adjust my own schedule. Now the friends that I've chosen do all have their own author tube channels. That's how we met. So I will leave them linked down below. So today is Monday and I'm going to be trying to write like my good friend Phoebe. Now some of you guys will remember that Phoebe is actually not only a writer but also an artist and she's incredibly talented and she painted Annalisa from the Meridian Maps for me and I have nearly cried over it multiple times. It's amazing. Uh, also, she writes like a crazy person, at least what I deem to be a crazy person. So here's what's gonna happen today. I can only write with live streams. That's right only when other people are writing. Phoebe says she gets through about three or four of these each day and I wasn't allowed to start writing before 2 p.m. I think you can see where this is going, but also it is just now 2 p.m. So Phoebe's like golden hours for writing are from 11 p.m. to about 1 or 2 a.m. The other thing to note is that I'm actually going to switch off my word count tracker in Scrivener. I'm going to try not to see it. Worst case, I might decide to work in Google Docs today. And I can also randomly flip through my projects. So th there's that at least. <laughs> now the other days this week are going to be more concept than routine. Tuesday will be Emily where I will have to track every single minute of my day in order to kind of check my productivity. Emily knows that I hate time tracking stuff. I prefer like an output based um, tracking system. I'm, I don't even know that I could do it for a day, honestly, because I forget to track and because I don't like it. <laughs> Wednesday is going to be trying to write like Becca, which could theoretically go in a variety of different directions as y'all know how insanely talented Becca is between her sewing and her screenplays and her published novels. But I'm gonna be focusing on our work sprints. This is really going to test my focus and my willpower. <laughs> Finally, to end the experiment, I'm going to be writing like Jessica. I will order pizza and then I will write with Kevin and Laura on their live stream. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm most excited for Jessica's routine. <laughs> <laughs> but as it is Monday, as it is 2 p.m., it's time to write like Phoebe and I get the wonderful bonus of I just found out that Ibley's actually going live an hour early so my live stream starts now! Let's go to YouTube. That's the one we want. Yay! If I go to view and then editor layout, if I do hide the footer view, it gets rid of the word count that's usually down here. Now I can't find a way to like get rid of this one, but honestly as long as I'm not going over it, I shouldn't be able to see anything. So I think I will be able to stay in Scrivener, which is nice because I'm revising this chapter. There is going to be a fair amount of like word changes, but it'll be interesting to not uh, think about how much. You know, and I think in revision it also matters less. So yeah, this is just gonna be fun. I do have an idea for what I wanna do the other sprints that I'm doing, so. Ho ho, okay. <laughs> Anyone in the comments, sprint? Questions? Sprint? Questions? Sprint? Questions? Sprint! Questions? sprint. <laughs> First print done! Man, that's amazing. I'm writing like Phoebe Wood writes today, so no checking my word count for me. I got through half a scene, maybe? So curious to see a video. Right? <laughs> we talked a little bit about it. I did tell Phoebe that I'm staying up late tonight, so I'm, I'm nervous. I'm so mad because as much as, you know, Emily was talking about how nice it is to think through scenes instead of words, I found that when I was in the midst of like a pause, I actually just took my cursor up to the top to check, not thinking about it 
Like I didn't actually care how many words I got. It was just like one of those ticks because I was still like kind of thinking it was like more fidgety than anything. Like it didn't matter because I'm really revising the scene, but I wanted I wanted to know, I wanted to preoccupy my mind. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna see how the rest of today goes if this is if this is the start. <laughs> Got me some coffee. Third, spring it. Time. I at least finished that scene. Minus a little bit of red. All right, as I finish my coffee, which you can't see, there's only a little bit left. I'm actually realizing that I need to almost pace myself. I've only written with one live stream, so there's, you know, two or three left to go for the day, but if I have to write for sure between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. and it's 4.30 right now, I'm gonna need, I just, yeah. <laughs> this is break time. So I'm gonna drink my coffee. I think I'm gonna go on a walk. I just got home late last night from my like week long adventure with my friends, so. Oh, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm a mess. So work out, shower, chill, maybe read a bit, and then somehow power my way through until 11 p.m. There's gonna be more coffee. Welcome to this vlog, powered by coffee, somehow even more so than usual. Mm. Okay, it's 9, 12 p.m. I've done all my working out and I've done work, but not like writing work. So I'm gonna get myself a snack, get some strawberries, and we're gonna put on a freaking live ride in. Oh, interesting. I have never seen YouTube do that before. Okay, well, I was gonna say, I'm actually going to go and find some of my good friend Jessica Williamson's old write-ins because she is super close to the 4,000 watch hours. So I'm gonna do my part. Yes. Hello. Hello. I'm also planning on doing some brainstorming that will hopefully morph into some outlining as the sprints progress. I will talk more about this um, pseudo experiment later on, but yes, can I brain up into there? Sprint one, let's see. And that banging sound is the bird And that yelling sound is my mom <laughs> yelling <at me. laughs> Okay, everybody, that was Sprint our one 20 done. minutes. I How finished. Did everybody do? Hello. Pretty good, Jess. Mm -hmm. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I had to pause, but at this point, honestly, this feels like I'm being attacked. <laughs> so while Jess was chatting with us and not sprinting, I have painted my nails. I added in some more scenes that I thought up, so good brainstorming. I was actually going to show you how many words I'd added. 10.54 and ah. <laughs> and I just barely stopped myself. Again, the words don't matter here, they're just brainstorming. I mean, I could show you what I'd done here, but again, this not counting thing is, I mean, I need to stop being word obsessed. In conclusion, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see this face. I'm already so tired and I still have five minutes until Phoebe's prime time. So I'm gonna finish up the two minutes I have left here. And then, and then it's go time for another sprint at least. <laughs> I'm actually going to take a quick break and instead of watching a write-in, I'm going to watch Phoebe's video. Hey folks, it's me, Phoebe Wood. And Hi you're Phoebe. Phoebe. And comment. Yay! I mean, yay, but I'm really upset at you right now, so <laughs> not yay. Upset at, I'm upset at me for trying to write like you. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the reminder on for this one of Jess's and then I'm gonna see Oh, maybe I'll do her January 20 minutes, right? I know that's not a live stream. Phoebe, is this okay? 
What are my rules? I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, this could be a mistake, but turning off the light. Ooh, actually, you know what? I should probably go and see if Phoebe has one since it is my last sprint of the night. Let's do it. Amazing, and Lauren's in it. Yes! I switched to the bed, which was not the first of my problems, um, but was certainly somewhere there. It's now 1.47 a.m. and I managed to get to the final sprint and I'm, I'm calling it. I'm done. I'm done, I tell you. Yes. I'm awake. It is 8.54 a.m. I'm supposed to do Emily's routine now. I figure I will talk at the end um, on what I thought of Phoebe's. But I, am I supposed to start time tracking now? Like, woke up at 8.54? Do I say when I got my cappuccino? Is it just, how do I time track? Mm, okay. <laughs> Emily. Okay. And I guess I'll just see how long it takes me to get ready and get to work. I need to run to the store in the library later. Dad and I are actually gonna go to the Indian buffet we like to go to when my mom's not here because she doesn't like Indian food. And then I think I'm hanging out with someone tonight, so this time track is gonna be interesting. We'll see how, how I do. Uh, for now, cappuccino. That's what I need. Cappuccino. I still have Phoebe's right in pulled up. All right, now, what do I work on this morning? Cappuccino, done. I have all of my pictures. We're done, they're placed around. Just gonna double check real quick that it looks like I have all the questions I could ever need. All right, all right, let us freaking upload this file. And it is now 10.44, so I'm gonna make note of that. Is this how you time track? You just make note of everything? Oh God, this took way longer. I knew this was gonna be a long one to edit, but geez. All right, 10.44, I finished. What if I... I'm moving on. My dad and I are about to leave. So, leave? Question mark? <laughs> okay. I don't think I'm doing this for a Emily. <laughs> We're back from India Palace. Yes. Now, getting the caffeine to offset all that food. <laughs> That's right. Otherwise, we have the I know the sleepy part as if as if this time of day wouldn't naturally be sleepy nap anymore. time uh, And you just shared with me the opening uh, lines of for my your next... second book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, It's like, you know, the old saying I'm working on my second million and you go wow, you've already got a million No, I gave up working on my first million now. <laughs> I'm working on my second million. <laughs> I haven't heard that before. <laughs> my flight is bumped. All right, I have done a decent job outlining this. My video did just post. I was hoping that I could go and set some like timestamps when certain questions were in the Q and A. So I think I might go and do that. Yeah. Good morning, buddy. I can go. Good morning. I did a terrible job of writing like Emily because I was up super late trying to write like Phoebe and then I went out to San Antonio for lunch and then I left for San Antonio again. So like, I think I might have to try her experiment again. But that being said, today's Becca day and that means that I need something very specific. I need the Forest app. Ta-da! 
set to 60 minutes because that's how long I have to focus for. I'm both very excited and terrified. This could be a lot. So the first sprint, I'm actually still outlining that other story. So I'm gonna try outlining a multitude of different ways just to see what helps me, but I figured I'd start here. So yesterday I managed to get to sort of this part, the midpoint where I was like, I don't really know for sure what I wanna do here. So I'm debating working backwards to get back to the midpoint. I don't know if that's what I should do. Duke, what do you think? Is that what I should do? Oh, oh. It is time. Plant. Let's get to outlining. And I am almost done with my hour sprint. I will go ahead and double my reward. And it is time for me to get my cappuccino. You know what? I think I'm gonna stand. Ah! Ah! I thought I had time. Turn that off. I don't want to talk too soon since I've only done one of the one hour work sprints, but I'm a fan. <laughs> I don't want to talk too soon. Immediately talks too soon. I really liked it. It was nice. Admittedly, I didn't have an hour's worth of work to um, do this plotting, though I did outline these whole pages. And I think I figured out the entirety of the beat sheet in very like basic terms, but I think I actually did it within reason. I don't know what the heck the whiff of death would be or if I need it, but anyways, freaking hooray. Um, I ended up spending the rest of the like 35 minutes just reading through and kind of making tabs on what I thought was important for the future. It's a good way to spend an hour. I was thinking about this story while reading about how to outline. So that should count, right? That's like, a solid hour of work for one thing. Is that how these hour work sprints are supposed to work? Lots of works in there. Mm. But now, I have my computer. And that means it is time to do some revision work. I have one, two, three chapters to attempt to fix up. Ugh. So, we'll see how long that takes me. I guess I have to start another one of these. And plant. Ugh. <laughs> For the record, it has not even been like nine minutes of doing this. I'm halfway through the first scene of the three that I need to get through today, but like, I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> I want to switch to something else, but I don't know if that defeats the purpose of the one hour work spread. Like, can I just up and change what I'm doing? Can it be any work in this one hour? Because I don't want to do this right now. I'm, I have to answer something. This is the problem. I have not uh, thought up enough and I don't want to think it up right now. <laughs> My brain's like, it's not happening. It's not. <laughs> I need to decide if the dialogue that's happening here now should actually happen here now. Like, do I let this conflict linger longer? I guess is what I'm asking. And I don't freaking know. <laughs> should I ask Becca? <laughs> I'm gonna ask Becca. It's only been nine minutes. I think I just bail. I think I give up. I give up. There will be two withered trees in your forest. Well, that is devastating. But at this point, I'm not, this isn't happening. Should I message Becca? and then I'll switch to what I want to do. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause I don't want to give up the trees. <laughs> this feels like cheating. All right, question asked. For the record, this is exactly why I was worried about this one hour work sprint. I guess at this point now, it's just going to be seeing how much I actually am able to get done. Like, because this one is probably clearly a wash, even if Becca says that like she can switch it up, that means I've only solidly done one. Okay, it's fine. Everything is fine. All right, I went to editing this vlog. I did see that I have a notification on Google. So then I went over and I got Becca's response. I usually stick to one thing, but I totally said it. 
<laughs> okay, well, she's still typing, so we'll see, but like, how long do I usually concentrate for? Because sometimes I can be in the zone and work for like an hour and a half straight, I feel like, and look up and be like, well, shit, that was, time has passed, who knew? Um, but like, that there's now, and I think I have a lot more now where I concentrate for like 20 minutes at a time than I do ever a full hour. Okay, she said, that's the nice thing about being a multi-project creator. So much to work on. You know what, Becca, you're just the best. <laughs> I feel a little bit better. I'm still gonna count this as wash, but we'll go back. Yay, Becca, yay. <laughs> and then I'm calling it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. no, you can't see that. Done, kind of, even though it doesn't count, but I'm done, oh no. Okay. <laughs> I've more or less cleaned up some area from traveling and I'm doing some laundry. I don't know if that could count as an hour sprint. I didn't count it, but it feels like it could have been. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna do my hour sprint now. And I think I'm gonna try the revision over again. I think my mind is like a little bit more ready to think through some of the bigger problems. I think I might've spent it um, on the brainstorming before. That's my working theory. I also have some with strawberries and cream. So let's do it. And plant. Woo! Double coins! Okay, I figured one thing out. I did, I don't know if you can see, the background's different now. I did go ahead and make my bed because the stuff got out of the dryer, but I kept thinking about the story, so I was still here. Sometimes I have such good intentions for myself and I think I can do so much. Do you see this recurring theme? Um, and I'm still on the first chapter. I did, however, figure out one thing and I'm technically, because I'm not on Phoebe's day anymore, <laughs> again, not that it matters, but I'm technically 115 words up on the revision. I think the reason that I obsess over it, because now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking about how I met about almost 12,000 words total and I only have the 10 chapters. So I think I'm right on my pacing to get the 20,000 words um, because some of the chapters later are gonna be very short. I think because I always have to add more words in in order to hit like the proper range, um, the expectations for certain stories. I'm gonna blame it on that. I don't know that that's what it is, but I did see the 11,000 and I was like, aha, no, you're doing good. So. We'll pretend that that's what it is and not delve too deeply into it. <laughs> Look at this. I've supposedly stayed focused for 180 minutes today. So even though Becca works in like hour chunks, I know she also does stuff, you know, just randomly, which is kind of what I'm doing now. I want to start my next hour chunk, but I also want to get this video caught up, which is only going to take like five minutes or something, and then I'll start. But it's like little bits of work and then concentrated work, which I'm actually finding I might like if I can accept that I'll hop around to all sorts of stuff during the hour. Almost done. Also, I'm watching Simply Podlogical. <laughs> All right, I've successfully worked out and I actually got to chat with Becca and Phoebe and Jessica and Emily. And now I'm gonna have some pho and I'm actually going to reread my um, Camp Nano project. But first, I'm gonna set up my forest app. Plant. I did a bad job of vlogging it, but I technically got five hour sprints in there for the day or arguably four since I'm not really counting this guy. <laughs> Today is my Jessica day, which basically means that the writing plan is just going and buying myself a pizza for dinner and then writing on Kevin and Laura's live stream. But of course, you know, Jessica works like 10 hours a day before she's even able to come home and do any writing. So I have been working this time with Emily's stream. And to further honor Jess, I have been reading, or I should say rereading for my Camp NaNoWriMo project. I've been making copious notes all day on what to change and what I think of my story. And yeah, Jessica does a lot of reading in general. That was my tie in there will pretend that that worked. <laughs> but I am about to go and get the pizza. So, onward. Let's go get that pizza. I made it. Pizza time. Yay. The real question is, do I wait till I get home for a bite? Oh, it's very saucy. My favorite, but I think that means yes. Hooray. One minute until go time. 
look who's here to party. So originally I was thinking I would draft during this time to have a distinction between my work day and kind of Jessica's writing routine. But now I'm actually thinking I should switch back to that revision project. I know that Jess is revising right now slash redrafting slash yes. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna revise instead. Cause nobody's watching. I have this freaking ad memorized. Ooh, Yay! Pizza gone, we're in the middle of the sprint. I pulled up my revision project. Kevin and Laura had given me permission to work on my fun project, which would be the rereads. But Jessica said that if, <laughs> that if she's revising, that I have to revise too. And truthfully, that's what I'd reasoned out before, but I was kind of hoping that I would find a way not to do that and Jessica would let me. Cause Jessica's a good friend, but also I really like Kevin and Laura's reasons. So like, why? This is also probably why I am not actually writing right now and I'm just wasting time on the sprint. Uh, pull it together, self. Pull it together. I finally finished revising hour eight or chapter eight. So now I'm on chapter nine. This is good because I think the rumination I needed actually managed to happen because I was able to fix the problems or at least make note of them and figure something out to really fix them later. Kevin's still talking, sorry. I didn't mute him all the way so that I could listen. I'm also only up eight words. I was down like 23 words when I finished the chapter eight. Whatever, it's done, it's done. Can you believe it's done? I'm so happy. <laughs> Honestly, that's terrifying. Ugh, why is revising so hard? Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> so. Good, bad thing. I was very in the zone and I muted um, the chat because it was just like coming back at the time and I was like, oh no, I need to keep going. I finished all three chapters. Things are looking good now. I also missed the entire thing, which I didn't realize. <laughs> until the screen changed. I like that what was up next though was another one of their live streams, but all the way back during NaNoWriMo. Did I get to join this one? I don't know, but you can see Jessica in the chat even back here. <laughs> Jessica, did I fail you? Did I fail this entire experiment? I did make a note though and added up all the time that I spent working today because I think that's what the time tracking was supposed to be. So Emily like helped me out a little bit when we were chatting the other day about what time tracking even meant. And then Phoebe told me that she started time tracking. And then with Becca's focus on like our sprints, I just decided to try the time tracking again today since it was closer to a more typical day and that I didn't have to go anywhere at least and I got 6.36 hours of solid work. Solid included the live stream so when we were chatting but yeah 6.36 hours of solid work. I guess the night's not technically over yet and I do want to read more of my camp story so it could theoretically be more work today even. But you know what I need before the night is done? Some pizza. Some more pizza. Oh, cold pizza. Hooray. Nope, they're still gone. <laughs> all right, and that is it for my experiment. Sorry, I got all this stuff behind me. I'm getting ready to go somewhere, but I wanted to just kind of go over the things I learned from doing this. One, I learned again that I love pizza and that I should order that and write with live streams more. <laughs> Two, I think I am more productive during live streams. So it was really helpful to do Phoebe's day where I was just kind of writing with people. I've been almost spoiled for choice because there's lots of live streams that are happening like each day, but there was something about even watching the old ones that I found so useful. The other thing is that I'm a huge fan of Becca's hour work sprints. And I think if I do it like what she was saying, where as long as it's more dedicated, focused an hour of work, like no Reddit, no YouTube spiraling, it would be really beneficial to me. So I'm trying to find a way that I could integrate that into my routine. And then the big thing is the time tracking since 
Becca basically did that in some way and you could argue that writing with the live streams or time tracking in another way. And then of course Phoebe had just started it and Emily's day was all about that. But I did want to share. I did learn that it took me like six, six and a half hours to go through the entirety of my Camp NaNoWriMo project and make all of these notes and kind of decisions. So that is actually very helpful information to know for the future and kind of goes back to the whole thing where I wanted to track my progress at the beginning of the year, which I really haven't done. I slacked off doing, but I think this sort of reaffirms how useful this could be for me in the future, especially when it comes to like self-publishing or even traditionally publishing maybe in the future, just to know how long it takes me to do certain things. It would also be really cool to see if like on the drafting or like editing, revising, if I get better over time and that it takes me less time. But if I don't track it, I can't know that for sure. I don't know if I really like the like minute by minute tracking. But I don't know. I don't know. Am I too obsessed with output? Should I be more focused on the time? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> that's still more for me to ponder over, but please do comment down below. Let me know what you think of all of these awesome routines. Let me know how your writing routine has changed over time. What do you think of time tracking versus like productivity tracking or are they the same thing for you? And let me know if you were to watch a live stream and eat something and like have that be part of your routine, would it also be pizza or would you choose something else? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all very soon at the new video. Bye. Hi, I would like to watch it please. What is with my phone today, I swear. Hey guys, I'm... <laughs> if it would show you. All right, well, uh-oh, hello. Actually, whoa. This is extra weird. I can find where it is.